If a nail goes through it, it's going to pop that tube. Yeah, you got to tear it apart and patch the tube. Yeah, that's all. But $100 a tire? Holy cow. Uh, and then he, if you used to have somebody put them on for you, you know, you're talking another 50 bucks a piece. $300 to, to ah, that's just crazy. But anyhow, um, I'm going to get this one done. And then I'll be a composting machine because I got my, when I bought this thing, I made sure I had a bagger. Or, or not a bagger. What's that called? Uh, Plex clippings? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, um, with this, especially in the fall when the leaves start falling, I can... I can bag the you know what out of that stuff and start so it won't be hard you know you can even take tree branches small tree branches and make a big pile and run this mower over top of them it'll chew it up <laughs> may have to go over it a couple times may have to sharpen the blades but anyhow I digress and get off the subject I'm gonna get back to getting this one fixed and I'll be back all right well what you do is you sort of get your your elbow or your arm on this and hold this one side down and then you slowly, um, I don't think I can do this. You slowly take a screwdriver and just start doing this. But it's going to take both hands as I get to the other side here. You just got to keep this, uh, and you got to make sure you don't lose your, your nipple too. It's probably better to start on the other side because I'm pushing that down. But anyhow, that's, that's pretty much it. I got to get that air valve back up in there I'll be back when I get it all together the pain in the back side but you you sort of get your elbow here to hold this to hold this down and then hold this screwdriver over here so it doesn't flop out and then with your right hand just take a little bit at a time Just a little bit at a time, and I'm just about there to probably push this on now. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a little work, but if I can save 50 bucks. One more thing, if you've never taken these kind of tires off before, there's a little channel right there. And in that little channel sits this little piece of metal square. That's what attaches the tire to the axle. So when the axle spins, the tire will spin. So um, come back here. Make sure you uh, don't lose those because I lost one already and it took me a while to find it. They come out and they're a little bit greasy. Uh, but anyhow, we're gonna get that stuck back on and we're good to go. All right, well, those are good to go. Um, that's my little bit of knowledge of putting inner tubes in tires. Uh, the front's got to be done sometime, but right now they'll hold air. Um, I'll fill them up, and I have pr probably have to fill them up twice a summer. Got real slow leaks, but I'm not going to fiddle with them this year. I might next year. Um, don't really need to worry about it. Just got to make put my little cap back on, and uh, we're good to go. Going to do some watering. Um, I think my dapple willow branches over there died because it's cold weather this has been the stupidest april and may i've ever seen i would have rather had a, a chilly march and a regular april and may than a warm march and then it's april and may has just been miserable uh, today it's 60 degrees but the wind's blowing 50 miles an hour so it's cold i mean it's a pain you know what um but what else uh i'm gonna go over and move that hive again that's a those are some pretty Hot bees over there at the garage. They don't really like it. I don't know if something bug them at night, like a raccoon or something crawling around on there. Um, something's bugging them. Um, uh, but we're going to go ahead and give them a move today. Um, so we can at least get them away from the garage so I can get in the garage. Right now I go in there and they chase me. Um, all right. I'll be back. Some people say that chickens are stupid. I don't know if you can see Junior over here. 
but he's actively attacking this white feed bag. And what he does is he attacks the little strings. See that little seam right there? He's looking at the string right there. <laughs> and he, he he's he's done this before where the bag's been full and he's grabbed the string and opened the corner and food fell out on the ground, especially wheat. <laughs> Somehow, like I mean, he, he's not smart. They're not smart, but they do remember stuff. I mean, he's he's working on an empty bag. <laughs> um, there's no food in it, but he don't know that. He just knows he's picked at those things before. Right, Junior? Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, goofball. He says, I've picked at these before and I've got food out of them. And he sits there and tells all the hens, hey, come over here. I got some food. Go ahead. Go back to what you was doing. <laughs> like a kid get caught doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. Right? That's a sign of submission when they turn their head like that and start pecking at the ground. He doesn't want to, he doesn't really want to fight me. But it's pretty comical. Um, quit spreading bags all over the yard. And I got to go pick them up. All right, we're, before we move these guys, we're going to have a quick peek in there and see if they need another box. This was a big swarm. And I want to make sure that they don't run out of room and swarm again because bees will do that. But you can see I put one board over there, um, one of these little boards. Um, but when I did that, they attacked me. I come out here with no veil on. So I'm going to try to... Got a lot of little guard bees on the entrance. Can't get this one in place. There we go. Now... Yeah, they didn't come after me, so of course I'm all in their way. Um, you, you, if you stand in, in a bee's flight path, it tends to make them mad. But I'm going to go ahead and look in here real quick. It looks good. Um, yeah, they're attacking me. They're attacking my hand. They don't like that phone. Um, but they're not. There's a lot of bees in here, but I don't think they're all the way out here on this side. On the sides. And yeah. But they're definitely aggressive. And that could be because something's living in this barn like a raccoon or a skunk, and it keeps bugging them. That little stick I showed you. I put it on top of the box, and when I came back out here, it was on the ground. So, something was climbing around on the box somehow. But yeah, I'm going to shut these guys up and um, um, go ahead and move them. Okay, well, we got them moved. They really attacked me when I put that lid back on. They are definitely hotter bees than I like to have, but we'll work with them. Um, I sort of turned the box. I, I, I basically want to turn it so that I'm ready to start my move back across the field. Um, I think I'm going to move it a little bit farther. Because um, they're going to be, they're, they're, they'll know the box is there. They're just going to try to figure out where the front of it is again. Um, they'll figure it out by the nighttime. But anyhow, we're going to move it another, I don't know, maybe foot and a half. And turn it a little bit so that it's, that faces out a little bit. The front of it's back towards the front a little bit more than turn to the back. But anyhow, we'll get this done and on to the next thing. All right, well, take my first one. Here's a, a bag of lettuce. Not the most in the world, but not bad for the first pick. And a couple onions. Got some tomatoes inside. We're going to go eat this. I'll be back. All right. Well, that was one tasty salad. <laughs> Can't wait till I have more stuff to put in it. Going to have to get me another couple flats going so that if this stuff starts dying out and bolting, I can replant it. Um, but, yeah. Not bad. A lot better nice iceberg lettuce. I'll be back. 
don't know if you can see them down in there. Can you see them little white tips? Those are roots. So these are rooting, even though a lot of this is dead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, they're, they are rooting. So, I don't know if you can see them down in there. Um, 